when you introduce yourself on a call, like particularly a group call, I'm talking about a podcast, uh, an interview, a, um, a group call, um, I encourage you to think of the introduction as an energy signature transmission and not information transfer. Okay. So, and you may have sound bites, you may have things like the little cute phrases you want them to remember, that's fine. But think of it as an energetic performance rather than an energetic performance or pinging of your energy signature out to your soulmate audience, your kindred spirits who go, oh my gosh, I recognize you. Um, in other words, make it an experience rather than just words coming out of your mouth. Um, so for example, I could say, I'm an authentic business coach, George Cow. I teach courses about authentic marketing and joyful productivity. And uh, I have a, a 21 courses right now. And I create a lot of blog posts. You can find me on georgecow.com. And I've communicated everything <laughs> that I wanted to. Or I could think about the experience for the audience. And I say, so I'm George Cow, and I've always found marketing to be really, I, I, I used to find marketing really difficult, and I used to find coming to work difficult. And over the years, I've developed a series of skills and courses that ha has helped me and helped my clients to actually lean into loving marketing if that was possible, and loving work. I call it joyful productivity. I call it authentic marketing because it's about transmitting our energy into the world. So that's what I do. I love doing it, as you can tell. And um, yeah, thanks for letting me introduce myself. So I know I said different things probably there, but, but because I'm thinking about the experience, it naturally leads me to say something different but I still have more or less the same ideas in mind. So anyway, I hope this is helpful uh, in my client group, you know, ABC Masterheart. I, uh, every time I do a Q and A three times a week uh, at this time, um, I, every time someone asks a question, I give them that opportunity to practice introducing themselves. So now, you know, this is how I recommend that you practice introducing yourself. It might come out differently every time and that's fine. Because that's part of the practice. And sometimes you practice one way and it comes out a way that you're like, oh, that's a good one. I'm going to try to remember to do that next time, right? So hope this is helpful.